Hey guys, what's going on? Anonymous 2K back on Marvel Contest of Champions, and today we have Ghost Rider uh, Arena results. Um, we have grinded for the second round and the first and the second round actually uh, for the Ghost Rider. I really wanted to get him. We're gonna uh, take a quick look if we got him. I do believe that we did. We we actually did score a lot for him. So. Um, Until I'm going into the area, note that I'm doing Marvel Contest of Champions game plan and review right here on the channel, so make sure you subscribe for all the great content. And, where's that? Yep, it's three day overdue. There we go, we got a uh, dupe. Ghost Rider, we have went for him for the first time, um, scored right a little over the 5.2 million if I'm not mistaken. The second time around I scored like 5.5 or 5.6. I know that the cutoff was a lot, lot less, but from past times that I have just about, like I was missing like 100K, I said, I'm not gonna take any chances. I'm gonna go over the uh, the cutoff and I, I don't care and so I just actually did that so um, I don't have the score because it's it's when it went over so let's just claim him go into the champion real quick there we go as far as his PI where where he at where he at Supposed to be somewhere here. So ah, there we go. He's three thousand and nine hundred as far as his PI goes. Uh, let's go over his stats. Right now he's ranked three out of five. I didn't have a why three. Yes, he's only ranked three. All right. Uh, we'll take him up a little bit. Oh yeah, I know why. Um, when you got a four-star champion, when you take him up from what from uh rank 1 level 1 until rank 3 level 30 it's exactly enough to get the most points that you need in that certain uh, advancement so there was mystic advancement so I took him from 1 to 330 and the next mystic advancement to, uh, I will take him up from th 330 to 440 uh, the, uh, the reason that I'm doing it because that way I can benefit from the mystic advancement twice from one champion so that's what I'm gonna do the next time that we're gonna have uh, mystic advancements coming around uh, probably I'm gonna take him to rank 5 I'm not certain yet I know that I do have like seven uh, mystic t4 cl uh, classes but still I'm a little bit on the fence he's a great champion he's a very awesome champion I have had the chance of playing it with him a little bit but he is a really really hard champion to master so Let's just jump into his stats. Right now he's at 3,900 hero rating with the Suicide Masteries level three, uh, rank three, level 30. As far as the stats, we can see that. There we go. Uh, 9,100 health almost, 1,116 uh, damage. Synergies, not as good synergies as I would hoped, but what, what you're gonna do? As far as his stats, well, this is where the trick begins, right? I'm gonna go uh, real quick uh, over his stats. Maybe I'll do another video in the, in the future after I'll, I will uh, master his abilities because I actually did something. I, uh, I saw a few videos online and I actually have a real good idea how to play him. Uh, as far as his signature ability, uh, finish a five hit combo with a medium attack that will grant us judgment of corruption on the opponent 65 percent and uh the secondary ability will uh, ghost rider receive 169 and a quarter attack for seven and a half seconds before we're gonna go into his specials and into his uh, abilities let's just talk about judgment a little bit uh as far as the judgment he applies judgment on his enemies uh he has uh six different judgments that he can apply um 
And when you apply a judgment, it is indefinitely for always, unless until you do the L3, and then it will, it will reset it. Uh, judge, uh, judgment, well, we have it here. Uh, Ghost Rider can see his opponents. Um, uh, and oh, yes, basically he can apply judgment now. Each judgment can only be applied once and less than definitely, as I said. The uh, duration of each judgment secondary effect increased uh, by 75 for each judgment already applied. That means that if he has some judgment and you apply a different judgment after it, the second one will be 75% times more um, active. It will be active for a longer time. And it will, be, it will increase... Um, it will be increased by 75%. Um, basically, in the comics, uh, Ghost Rider is a good guy. So, whenever he fights villains that are bad guys, uh, he has 20% more on the judgment. I mean, uh, he can apply 20% more uh, the judgment, and he gets um, armor rating and critical rating are increased by 417. So, basically, if you have um, a boss or someone that is a villain, he will have better chances against him, aka Mordo. Uh, no, aka um, Dormammu that we have as a boss right now in Alliance War. All effects of judgment have two uh, components. The mainly the main component that is the judgment itself and the secondary effect that it applies. As we have seen uh, as far as his signature ability, he has uh, when you apply when you end finish five hit combo with a medium attack, uh, you apply a judgment of corruption. That's the first component. And the secondary is that Ghost Rider gets a burst of attack for 160 now, let's say 170 uh, damage for seven and a half seconds. That's the secondary. If we're gonna go over and see the other judgments that we have right here, finish a combo with a light attack, okay? He has 70% to apply the judgment. And the secondary effect, what um, Ghost Rider benefits from him is he applies bleed on the opponent for three and a half seconds. For example, if you apply, if you go first and uh, apply the judgment of vengeance on on the opponent, he will have one judgment. You receive the um, the attack boost, and afterwards you apply the second judgment that's uh, with a light attack. Uh, instead of instead of having uh, the da the bleed damage, the seven hundred and ten for three and a half seconds, it will have for uh, more. It will have somewhere like six seconds, five and a half seconds, because it will be uh, applied for 75% more because what we see right there uh, on the second uh, section of the judgments. So we have two, uh, we have spoken about two judgments right now, uh, about the, uh, ending the five combo hit with a medium and with the light attack, and we have the heavy attacks. This is the judgment that everybody wants. The judgments of uh, Malice. I hope I'm saying it right. Uh, what uh, Ghost Rider is gaining, gaining from is he gaining lifesteal uh, for six and a half seconds. Uh, and he applies lifesteal of 228 for each attack. Basically, you hit the opponent and every attack does uh, 228 uh, lifesteal. But if you apply the medium first and then the light and then the heavy, you're gonna have not six and a half, you're gonna have, let's just do a real quick uh, calculation, six, uh, 6.75 seconds times 1.75 times 1.75. So it's gonna have 20 seconds of, um, 20 seconds of lifesteal. That's a lot of time for lifesteal, buddy. Um, for now, we have spoken about three um, judgments. But before we're gonna go over, uh, I wanna go back a little bit and talk about the 20% that we have more. As you guys can see on the heavy attack, you have 65%. Uh, on the light, you have 70. And on the heavy, we have 80. And that's if we're fighting a good person, uh, a hero. Okay, but if you're fighting a villain, 
on the same on the heavy attack you're gonna have a hundred percent instead of the 80 you're gonna have 90 percent in front of the 70 on the light one and on the medium you're gonna have 85 percent instead of the 65 okay so let's keep moving now the sp1 the first judgment uh, is the judgment of pride 70 percent chance on a on a champion on a hero and 90 percent on a villain uh, fate sealed the opponent, uh, nullifying all buffs for 5.3 seconds. Nice ability. Uh, the SP2 judgments of anger. 80% chance of draining 80% of the maximum power over 2 seconds. Basically, it's a nice, it's a little power drain that he has. A little power drain mechanic. Uh, of course, of course, of course, if you apply the light, the medium, the heavy, SP1, and then the SP2, you can drain uh, a lot more than the 80%, 18%. Of course, don't forget, each and every se uh, se sequential, uh, sequential uh, judgment applies 75 more uh, duration or amount. It's 75% more, he says, efficient. Okay, so the third judgment is the judgment of guilt inflicts uh, domination upon the opponent um, through the uh, for three and a half seconds. It's that that is if you just go through straight to the SP three, but most of the time it's not going to happen. But basically, domination on the opponent uh, dealing two hundred ninety seven direct damage. Uh, opponents under domination are power locked heal block and fate sealed that, that's a lot a lot of abilities in one special so basically you can charge up uh, the regular attacks of course depending on your needs you can power lock in power steal and just lock the hell out of the champion for a lot of time a long time when domination ends all the judgments are removed from the opponent then uh, and then can be reapplied again that means that when you use the judgment or uh, any judgment, right? You cannot apply the same judgment until you clear it with the SP3. So this is something to uh, remember. Let's say you uh, have used the medium, uh, the light, then the SP1, then the SP2, and then use the heavy attack for the lifesteal. If you're uh, fighting for a long time, then you're gonna have to use the SP3 to reset it all over again. What I actually, did <laughs> I have played with him uh, and I and I tried something else I have applied I, I didn't have him uh, duped but I did apply uh, the light one I did apply the SP1 the SP2 and the SP3 and then you have that time the certain amount of time that you can apply the heavy attack so you're healing and then you can uh, apply all the um, judgments all over again so it's something that you're gonna have to play with of course, the lack of blood pro uh, uh, gives him uh, the immunity to bleed. But basically, he cannot he cannot bleed uh, under any circumstances. So this is good if you're running a bleed path or any other thing that you uh, need to him to be um, immune to bleed. Uh, let's take him uh, into a small little fight right here. As I said, I have been playing with him a little bit. So. I'm going to show you real quick what I meant. There we go. One. That was the medium attack. What I like to do is actually, if opponent can bleed, uh, I do not like to end it on a light attack because when you end it on the light attack, he uh, applies bleed. But if you save the light attack for a later uh, use, you can actually make the opponent bleed for a lot, a lot longer. So this is something that you have to uh, see when you need it 
let's try something real cool something that I haven't seen anyone do we have used the SP1 judgment right this is the SP2 we're gonna do the medium right now and it didn't trigger I think no it did trigger but but, but the SP2 didn't trigger I think let's try the SP2 once again there we go or maybe the SP1 didn't trigger let's go for the SP1 alright so SP1 there we go so we have three applied right now right we have the uh, the medium we have the SP1 the SP2 um, I'm gonna come close to the SP3 and apply the bleed uh, I mean uh, and apply the heal and I'm gonna heal a little bit and afterwards I'm gonna apply the SP3 that will be five uh, judgments and as far as the sixth one and the last one I'm gonna use the light attack therefore we're gonna have the bleed as high as possible You know what? Let's change it up a little bit. Let's do the SP3. Let's just beat it. SP3, then heal, then bleed. SP3, Fate Salem, Damnation. Oh no, 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 no. Come on. Heal. And no bleed for us. Well, didn't have enough time to uh, make him bleed, but as you guys can see, I'm using the heal right now. And I can already start applying the new judgments and move right up there see the second judgment so you have that time until the damnation will end to apply the new bleeds one two three four five boom so again we did the sp1 the sp2 and the medium Let's try that one more time. Build up to that SP3. Then we're gonna do the SP3. Then heal. And then bleed. Even though you can do the bleed first if you need it. Let's, let's get you going buddy. You can do the bleed first and then the heal and the heal will last just a lot longer. There we go. Now we're gonna have to real quick heal. There we go, heal. And bleed no bleed applied four ah oh, not a, not again well basically that's the idea as you guys can see I'm having a little trouble uh, applying the bleed right now one two three four five. I don't know what's going on maybe it's the iPad one two three four there we go the bleed works guys the bleed works <laughs> one two three 
and the damage goes up there. Well, basically this is the champion, you can play with him, see whatever you need the most at that time. Uh, I'm gonna do more testing with him. Uh, I decided to do a new, um, new series, a new testing set. I'm going to be taking up champions to rank four and going through the realm of legends, winter soldier. Uh, I wanna see how long and how fast it takes to go through either champion. I wanna see how many hits it takes to go through the champion. That way, in my opinion, it's the best way to compare uh, one champion to the other. Of course, you're gonna have to take into consideration that we have uh, the class advantage and the disadvantages again. So either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're subscribed, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel to be up to date to all the videos that I release. If you didn't like the video, subscribe to the channel anyway. It's free, so what do you care? Guys, see you next time.